Hey guys, look, look, sweet little Momo drew this for me. She's so amazing. I didn't even ask her to, but she did it anyways. Oh, it's so good. It's my new profile picture now. Hold on. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> but what's up, guys? Leopold the Brave here for another episode commentary of Universes. Um, I forgot to yesterday because I was extremely busy. I went out to get a haircut, and I had to go get bird food for my bird. And let's see, what else did I do? Oh yeah, my brother had a dentist appointment, so I, I kind of had to ride along with that to get my haircut. I had to deal with that, but the dentist appointment took forever. For some reason, because they were like filling his cavities and stuff. And also, I was playing Street Fighter V a lot as Akuma, so I could prepare for him in Tekken 7. Because I know people are going to be cheap with him online. But yeah, those are my excuses for why this episode commentary took so long to do. Um, but anyways... This is gonna be fun, because Spike vs. Toon Link, this is a really fun matchup to talk about, because they're both a lot alike. They have, like, little button HUDs or GUIs at the top for switching weapons, and they have a lot of weapons, and yeah, they get weapons that'd be useful for the area that they're about to go through. So, it all works out. It, it works out. Um... Now, when it comes to Ape Escape, it's really confusing because some people don't know about the whole millions of monkeys, the million monkeys thing. It was Japan only. Um, so basically, there's like two different professors, but in two different assistants, and there's like different protagonists and stuff. So like, there's Spike, the professor, and then his assistant from the first game. And then in the second and third game, it's like a different professor and then some different assistant lady, Natsumi. Natsumi, that was her name, Natsumi. And so for the second and third game, there's the professor and Natsumi. So, not the first professor and his assistant. Because they go on to do something different in Apescape Million Monkeys. It's like... I mean, it's not like separate timelines, it's just like... Two groups of very similar people go different paths. It's very hard to explain. But in the anime, they like mix them both. Like instead of just the professor and not and um, his assistant, spikes with the professor and Natsumi. So I couldn't include like any feats from the anime because it contradicts the main canon. Because it mix it mixes up who spikes assisted by at the beginning of the game. I also forgot to give Spike his jetpack in this though, because he had a jetpack in Million Monkeys too. So Million Monkeys is canon, just very bizarrely canon. Sadly, the anime is not. The anime is weird though. Um, in the anime, Spike's best friend Jake, the one with the blue hair, he has like this fetish for baby clothes and he wants Natsumi to hug him while wearing baby clothes. It's really weird. Hopefully, if Death Battle ever uses Spike, they can figure out how the cannon works. Like with a million monkeys and stuff. But it's weird because you can also play as Spike in Ape Escape 2, but I didn't include any of his gadgets there because to do so you have to beat the game first, which obviously means Spike is just a bonus there. Not really meant to be part of it, so it, obviously it contradicts the main cannon because Jimmy is the one who stops Spectre in Ape Escape 2. <clears throat> but all the specters are the same, though. There's not two specters. They're just doing things to do di two different protagonists at the same time. Or four different protagonists, if you count the two that were in Ape Escape 3. I don't remember much from Ape Escape 3. I mean, I, it was as good as the other two. All the Ape Escapes are pretty good. But, I don't know, I just find the protagonist super hard to remember. I guess Spike was very memorable because of his bad voice acting. <laughs> Uh, but that's enough about Ape Escape. Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Oh, I have such good memories of Wind Waker. It was my first Zelda game. Um, my first, uh, console Zelda game. I remember playing, uh, Link Between Worlds on my brother's 3DS. Like, the one where you go to the Light World and Dark World, or Hyrule and Low Rule, as it was called. I didn't beat that one. I didn't finish it. But I did finish Wind Waker, and it was fun. Wind Waker HD on the Wii U. Because I never had a GameCube growing up. I was a PS2 person. Hence how I got Ape Escape 2 and Ape Escape 3. 
Michael Ganondorf and sealed him away. Eventually, uh, yes. In my stomach. Oof, I'm gonna die. Since the hero of time didn't return, <laughs> people began to grow fearful. So but my favorite Zelda game is super generic, but it's Ocarina of Time. I just had so much fun at that one. I think I think it deserves the hype. It was as good as people hyped it up to be. I really, really enjoyed it so much. It was an amazing experience. And I forced myself not to use any walkthroughs so that way I could get that same experience that all of you did in your childhoods. So, yeah. <clears throat> I'm, I like Zelda games a lot so much. I'm going to excitedly, excitedly get Breath of the Wild for the Wii U. Not for the Switch, though, because, I mean, I already have a Wii U, so there's no point in buying a whole other console just for a slightly shinier version of Breath of the Wild. So, yeah, I'm getting the Wii U version. I know that's really bad, and I should support Nintendo's new system, but I just don't got the money, man. Although I'm going to get a job soon, hopefully. I have an interview tomorrow at Great Harvest Bakery. I'm not even talking about the episode, I'm just talking about how much I love Zelda and how I'm going to get a job so I can get a Switch and get Zelda. <laughs> I mean, there's not really much about the episode to talk about, it's just a, it's just a matchup. They're very similar characters, even though they appear to be very different. And they had a fight. Toon Link lost, Spike won. But because I'm splitting up all the Toon Links, I can use Link again and again and again. I can just sp split them up by game or by incarnation, which is what should be done anyways. You shouldn't composite the links, because they're all different incarnations and people and all that. <clears throat> Ooh, I wonder who I should put up against Hyrule Warriors Link. That's what I should have done! I should have put Hyrule Warriors Link against a million monkeys Spike. I should have split up the spikes, even though the spikes are the same people. I should have still split them up anyways, because... They both fight gigantic barrages of enemies, and they have both have... Duh! And I'm pretty sure Hyrule Warriors Link is stronger too. I'm not sure. I'll have to see. But... Mm. Oh, that's enough for this commentary, though. I'll see you guys later.